everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Painting Hyun. In this video, I will be doing a tutorial on the puppy in the field. I have simply sketched in advance. In the sketch, there is one big puppy and two or three side view of puppies and a few dried puppies and small puppies in the distance. Uh, and we we are going to be using wedonet loose style on background first. So we have to be careful when we apply the water on the background. Be careful, do not cover the flower area. I'm applying water with a big calligraphy brush now. Take some water and put it on paper two or three times until there is enough water on paper. Watch out to get the water into the flowers. Be careful. Take some watery cerulean blue uh, to apply it, not only the sky area, uh, foreground area too. And because I want to create a painting that open your imagination and make a good combination and colors, now um, take some green and put it on the foreground area and also near the flower area. I really want to be blending colors with each other in the background. A lot of water, cerulean blue and green will be mixing and soaking each other. And then take a brown mix and with set green, we are going to add the foreground into light green in order to create painting depths. Don't be scared when you draw with big stroke. We are going to do brush strokes from down to up, here and there. Don't forget to touch the surrounding, surrounding flower area. Next stroke is with the mixture of ultramarine deep and sap green, paint the leaf large one and small one. And draw some crooked thin lines as a, a stem. And draw some flowers in the distance with thin consistency red. The paper is still a slight wet. So colors will be slightly light and feel soft when the paper is dried. Draw thin stem here and there. Stem again and I'm going to add dark red on the flower. There is a dried puppy. Let's draw the flower a little more detail with a little bit um, dark red color. Make sure the shape with the little bit dark red color. Yeah, next we are going to use a spreader technique in order to make a natural looking background. And next, draw stems using just one stroke. Move your brush quick and draw stem fast. Draw some thick consistency color uh, with the green put on the foreground area. Look at my brush stroke, move very quick and fast.
give them some detail. Move on to uh, main flower petals. Apply water on the petal area first. And we will be painting with four steps for uh, these petals. It will be a simple step, but water control is not simple, it's not easy. The first step, take some water and apply it on the pa uh, paper where you want to paint. Second step, take water red for the first layer and add it. Third, take a very thick, consistency red, add on uh, light red. Fourth step, draw some lines on the petal from center to edge, edge to center of the petal. This is the first step. So we uh, remember the uh, four stages for the painting. First step, uh, apply water. Second, apply light color. Uh, third step, little bit uh, thick consistency color put on the light color. Fourth step is draw some line in the pattern. Don't forget this stage, okay? Now I'm doing some uh, detail. Go to the next pattern. We are going to use the same colors and the same technique and the same steps that we as painted the first pattern. So we are going to be painting in four stages. Apply water and uh, apply watery color. Now, little bit get some little bit thick consistency color put on the light color. And first step is draw some line on the pattern. That's it. Don't forget. And just to practice this step. Okay? Give them some detail at the area, at the of the petal area, and move it to next petal. Apply water. That is the first step. Second step, put on uh, the little light watery red color. Put on the water. This is the third step. Get some little bit thick consistency color put on the second layer. And fourth step, draw some lines on the petal. Use the tip of the brush. Next, on the center of the flower. Oh, before the um, around the center area, give them some depth. So take some dark color, put on around the center area. Next, 
On the center of the flower, we are gonna use brown and red color. And from the center of the flower for drawing as pastel and salmon. Take some color and dotting and blend some uh, colors. And I want to leave some negative space on the uh, pistil area. Lately, I just took a look at the whole painting area and I want to draw more flowers in the foreground because I feel I need more flowers in front. So draw a flower and use a spreader technique with red and red in the foreground area. Now draw some uh, flowers with the red. Draw some uh, draw stem. I'm using red color too. Give some detail in flower and draw some small flower in foreground area. Another small one and splash with red color and draw a few leaves with red and splash paint on foreground. That's why I want to make this painting look nature. Draw some thin stem with red color. Okay, we are finally done. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time. Bye.